So we started after we fought the squirts, the the mosquitoes. We uh, went uh, right at that crossroads and went down and checked those two rooms. One of them had eight fucking skeletons in it. That we defeated so that, somehow. We took we took them skeletons down. Uh, made our way over here. Me and Paige got poisoned in these little fucking caverns here. Yeah, but I did collect some magic mushrooms, so that's But something. you did collect some magic mushrooms, so that's good. Uh, rolled up here. Went in here. Uh, talked to this wraith for a bit before it was like, alright, fuck you guys. And then we fought. Stole its treasure. Rolled up Wait. here. There was a, there was a boyo in here. Uh, Itty Beholder? Yeah, I think it was a, called a specter. Spectator. Yep, I I oh. let him know that I'm a great arc wizard, as everyone knows. Yep. Totally not a lie. Then I let him go. And he he was put off duty, and he was like, "Fucking finally, he he just vanished." And then we started looting his magical swag, and our poor skeleton got destroyed. Yep. Because I made a dumb decision. <laughs> At least the zombie has armor now. Yeah, he's got that plus one breastplate. Uh, Did I just lose connection? No, you're still here. Oh, no, okay. Uh, still here. I was just blowing my nose and I don't think you need to hear that. Right, gotcha. It's just that you were talking and you were suddenly gone, so I... I... <laughs> I thought I lost connection for a second. If I sound uh, weird, it's because my nose doesn't work. <laughs> because it's the doctor said, oh, you are going to have all allergies as it existed in the human history. Yeah, it's allergy <laughs> season, my friend. The time of year where having an in-room uh, AC unit is bad because all of the pollen in the universe is drawn to me. Oh, well, the pollen, my neighbor is a smoker, so that only helps. Oh, awesome. But and he yeah, smokes the, right besides my window. The, uh, the skeleton got destroyed, and we talked about the breastplate for a bit, gave it to the zombie, and I believe we left off there. Uh, yep. So, gain your inspiration for the session. Nice. This time, this time it's going to do something, I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Only because you said you can feel it if it doesn't do anything. <laughs> You're going to roll and roll the same as before. It is. That would be very upsetting. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a new dice color just, just in case. Uh, That's not this a bad the, idea. Your dice. Light blue. To choose pink. Pink. Pink treated me well for a while. Hmm. So I think the first thing on the list is just to Keep store going. over and check what's beyond cards. these doors. Uh, pushing open the doors. I gotta remove the doors. Uh, you enter a separate workspace where items were being prepared for enchantment, were polished, lacquered, and otherwise finished. Oh. Uh, like the main workshop, it has been almost completely destroyed. There are no salvageable weapons here. Oh. Anything else for me, Dad? Oh, I wish. Everything in here is kind of kind of fucked. Oh, well. Just our luck. Yeah. I don't know, considering this place has been riddling with undead, the fact that we now have a mace that can blow up undead things is pretty nice. Yeah, who's got the mace anyway? Uh, Krell I think, does. I think Krell has it. Krell. Krell. Hmm. Oh. 
Yeah, that is the uh, that is the plan. Yeah, that's the plan. We can stream through here because there's another door. <laughs> oh, you drag it on the skeleton too. Yeah, I just noticed. Ah, we're once again confronted with paths. Hmm. That music well, about it as you always said, right is the right way. Yes, but stairs freak me out, especially in caves. It feels That's unnatural. There's well, that... anything stairs, you might as well just kick it down. Mm, that is true. Hmm. Yeah, let's... all right, fuck it, let's go right then. All right. Ha! I get it. <laughs> well, I didn't mean that to be a pun, but okay. <laughs> Laughs and ten intelligence. <laughs> Laughs back and also ten intelligence. Plus <laughs> oh? What a dumb spot. Sixteen intelligence, gentlemen. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, yeah, wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your, enjoy your plus three, I think. So as we move into this much, much larger cavern, we find the source of that pounding surf that's just been slapping up against the stones that's been echoing through the cave, which it is named for. Uh, the narrow wedge overlooks a large cavern that houses a surging, seething body of water. The rhythmic booming heard throughout the mines is even louder here. At regular intervals, a fresh surge of water funnels into this chamber and slams against the wall just below the ledge. The echo mm. suggests that this cave might be one arm of a much larger cavern to the northeast. Mm. Mm. How strange. That's strange. Well, I, you know, you don't normally just see huge bodies of water in caves. I lived in a cave for a long time, and the only water source was the pond outside of it. Oh, so that explains a lot. Does it? Yep. Oh. That's weird. Well. All right, there doesn't, and once again, shrouded with crossroads. Well, I'm uh, not keen on passing through those narrow edges. Neither am I. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm a rather wide human being. You don't say. So, uh, I think it would be best if we went just straight ahead. Alright. <laughs> so we continue along our path into this channel and uh, make me perception checks. Hell yeah. Perception. It's like. Fuck this dice Ooh. color. Oh, <laughs> 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 the most it. perceptive being on the planet somehow fails. I got a, I got a fucking two. 12. I, I, got a got, 12. I got a 21 or 19 on the dice. So from Jesus. behind us in the direction of the water, you hear just a thunderous sound of water crashing against stone coming closer and closer to us. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Is this thing in front of us a wall, or is it something we could pass through? Uh, it's an archway. That is overhead. Gotcha. It is uh, more than tall enough for us to pass through. Awesome. So I think, I if, if I can see it, is this thing over here something we could hop up on? Uh, it is ten feet up and made of smooth stone. 
I don't think I have a high jump of 10 feet. <laughs> Last I checked, I, that's not something I could do. And we don't have any rope. We could, we could use the zombie as a ladder. I, f I don't know what's about to happen, but I feel like it's going to be not very good. We could also just turn back running. That, I guess, that might be an option we have. I guess it would have been nice to check to see if there were any signs of this cavern flooding every now and again. Uh... <laughs> Can I, like, make, like, an insight check to, to see, like, what exactly is going on here? Uh... Investigation. Investigation. I, it's the same one. I got a plus zero. 18. Oh, I assume you're attempting to investigate this machinery ahead of you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it appears to be some kind of uh, water wheel type mechanism that powers whatever the hell it is that it's connected to that seems to be some sort of massive bellows that one oh. would use while metalworking. Oh, fuck. Water does flow in through here. Okay, let's go back running. Let's fucking spur back the other way. And just as you reach the end of this pathway, you see a massive tidal wave coming, shooting down these cavernous pathways here, coming directly for you. Make me deck saves. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm all right at those. Oh, I suck at those. Eight. Fucking, oh, that five. One. <laughs> Not good. Uh, I feel like I feel like this is an inspiration-worthy situation. Yeah. Th does the roll zombie also have to oh, roll? Yeah, that's, that's nineteen. Oh, what was the question? Uh, can the zombie also roll a deck save, or well, yeah. does he need to? Yeah. The zombie also gets a deck save. What does the zombie have to his decks? Oh, yeah. oh, that's so tragic. So yeah, the wave comes crashing in, and Spoon and Krell manage to get themselves just around the bend over here. Just enough to brace themselves up against the wall, but the zombie and Paige were just not fast enough and get swept into the Swept away downstream in the water. <laughs> ah, fuck. We gotta go after them. So they end up way over here, absent the familiar that was still midair. And that water is moving fast and taking you towards parts unknown within this cavern. Shit. <laughs> And the water uh, level doesn't look like it's going down anytime soon. Okay, can I try to grab the ledge and hop up? Uh, make me an athletics check. Athletics. Oh, I am wonderful at those. <laughs> <laughs> and one for the zombie as well. Oh, uh, poor zombie. I don't think zombie's gonna make it. Oh. <laughs> uh, that was dexterity. Athletics is strength based. Oh yeah, strength based. Thank God. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. So the zombie continues to get whisked away down the river, but you manage to just grab an outcropping of stone and stop your descent down the river and manage to just barely pull yourself up over the ledge. Breathing heavily as you eject the water from your lungs. And, uh... Looking around you, there is no source of light. You've no idea where your familiar or your zombie friend is. I go to scream to the zombie, Come back, me, you fucking dead! Get back here! You hear the distant grumblings of the sound, and he gets to make one more athletic sa save to try and... Or, try save, oh, try save again. Shit. 
you hear a uh, loud, meaty thunk echo from whence the zombie was going as apparently he's just fallen some distance. Oh, thank God. Alright, if my if my genius calculations are correct, we can uh, we can stage. wrap back around and probably get Paige from where that machinery is being operated. So, Maybe. good news. <laughs> I can correct my familiar to his see. His familiar what... is just barely in his effective range to use it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that. That that's tough. I'm going to just barely. I'm going to assume control and start. I don't know what the owls do. They sing. They screech. Screech. I would assume. No, I'm going to start screeching to count the attention of this. Two. Oh, okay, it's Paige's owl. Should we grab it? Uh, the water level is still. 10 foot oh. deep in this area. Oh, yeah, that that's just a problem. <laughs> but, uh, the owl can fly, he'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, I'll go back to me. Uh, alright. Yeah, I think the play is just to go back around. I think that machinery is connected to the room on the other side. Quite possibly. We won't know unless we... We won't know unless we check, so... Uh, since, uh, you know... Since his familiar is still there, I imagine he has to still be alive, right? I think that that's how magic how it works. works. I think that's how it works. Although cool, some magic it. doesn't dissipate on death, so who knows? Well, we'll we'll see. Also, we have no source of light on our side, either. Oh yeah. Because the zombie had the torch. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've still got some torches left. Okay, uh, can I, 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 I... I think I've used, like, four, so I, I, should, I should have six. Can I, like, uh, concentrate on a fireboat to just float around me? Uh, I know that is an entirely different spell. <laughs> <laughs> Under <Okay>. no circumstance. <laughs> Under no circumstance. Okay, I can use presentation to make sparks. Like, I just have a little firework on my hand. Firework? <laughs> Although it only creates a very small uh, orb of light around you. I mean, if you have a torch on you, you can use prestidigitation to light that up. Do I have a torch for me? I don't know. Do you? That's why I'm asking. Let's see. I have no torches whatsoever. Tough. I do. And I'm going to light that bitch up. Alright, so you create a... Nice corona of light around us, allowing right, you go. to see at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get moving. But I do have a brazier. Can I just light that? <laughs> the hell wrap, that a wrap that around a stick on the ground. It's like a candle, but worse. Really, a thing you have? <laughs> the hell? What the hell is going on in here? Uh, one moment. Oh yeah, that was one of the things you could have sold. Yep. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, if you could find some tinder to put in it that isn't completely soaked now. Oh, wow, that sucks. Oh, wait, Spoon is there. Can I see his torch? Uh, give me a moment. Uh... Yeah, you can see across the way the small ball of light that is Spoon's torch as we walk into the room. What? Hey, get back! Come here. And, what? The, uh, oh. Let me describe for just a moment. Uh, okay, please. I. As we I have enter, an idea what. As we enter the area, we begin to make out the workings of this massive blast furnace and mechanical bellows, powered by the giant water wheel we spotted earlier. Hmm. 
the furnace is cold and dark, but heaps of coal are piled nearby, along with carts full of unrefined ore. Uh, the water wheel sits in a 10 foot wide and 10 foot deep channel, cut into the floor of the room. The channel is still surging with water from that last strike. Uh, there are further passages to the west and south. And more than a dozen withered corpses are scattered around the room. These slain dwarves and orcs are still wearing the remnants of their armor. And floating Ooh. above them... Oh, shit. ...is a skull engulfed in green flame. Uh-oh. That sounds like a bad thing. It is a very a bad little... thing. Uh-oh. As sounds, the flaming bad. skull sees you coming into the room, Ooh. a great many zombies begin to animate and shuffle in your direction. Ah. Ah. Yes, this is problematic. That's fine. We well, at least take... I can get hit. We can, we can take a bunch of zombies. We've done it before. Ooh. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yes, yes, there is. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not worried. Unless I roll low on initiative, then I'm going to be a little bit worried. Can I even see anything? Should I roll okay, initiative? Uh, you can't even see any of the zombies yet. So should I roll it or just uh, wait? No, because you're not yet aware that combat's even taking place. Yeah. Thirteen. Not bad, me. Fuck. Wow. I've rolled dice three times this session, and two of them were nat ones. Not, uh, not a, not a good sign. Alrighty. Uh, now the blue one is going to work. Okay, let's see how many zombies are going to roll uh, before me. What's the name of the creature? No, I didn't mean to do that. Hmm. There we go. I like how he's a small boy. He's got a, such a small token. That's worrying for when I start shooting crossbow bolts at him. <laughs> All right, lots of zombies to roll. Oh, <laughs> I hit as well. Okay. You got a minus uh, one to initiative? Or is it minus two? Minus two. Damn. That's rolling negative initiative. Nice. Well, negative if they get a negative initiative, initiative, they'd have to roll an at one. Yeah. Like that one poor did. Guy. A poor, poor guy. 
My man, my man really just fell over and said, oops. Okay. Okay. Not fucking bad, honestly. Is that all? Nope, just one. <laughs> These poor zombies are just not rolling well. Even our own zombie isn't rolling well. Our own zombie didn't get rolled into initiative as he is very far away. Well, I meant for the rolls he did make. At least he's alive. At least he's alive. Probably just shambling around in his little spot over there. Uh, neither of you have any idea where that zombie is. Just that he's somewhere further into the cavern. But we the players do, though. Yeah, but that's metagaming. I know. Well, I'm not saying the characters do. So yeah, the my, flame my, skull my is... illuminates its flames even greater, lighting up a 15-foot radius of bright light around it. Oh, thanks. Now I don't need this torch anymore. What's up, then? Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of that. The flame skull's gonna back up just a little bit. And, uh... The name of the song is Crisis. <laughs> well, we're about to be in one. Uh-oh. I gotta draw a big circle. <laughs> big, big circle, huh? It casts Fireball. <laughs> I don't... I'm not a combat that can cast Fireball. I know. Oh god. Holy. Now see, I know you said it as a joke, but... Son of a bitch! <laughs> here's, your, here's, your, here's your fucking deck save. Oh wow. 30 feet! <laughs> oh no, 30 damage. That's so much damage! <laughs> what is 6 of DC? 20... I couldn't have made that even if I rolled a nat 20. And neither does Krell. As we get annihilated by this massive fireball. 30 fucking damage. This Jeez. time we don't even have an option to the to dialogue. It's just straight up attack here. Leaving me with 11. And how do you have less health than Krell right now? I think I chose to. I think I didn't average some of my levels, so I just I rolled and I didn't roll particularly. Oh yeah, well. and Krell got the uh, nineteen that constitution, actually. which gave her a bunch of extra health. Yeah, she got the con amulet. But uh, Shambler here comes at you. Oh come on then! Why don't you roll on that twenty? I'm gonna cry. That's a two. <laughs> it's not hitting anything. And redemption time. Is this thing within range of my crossbow? Um, I'm pretty sure your crossbow has a max range. It's like 120 or some shit. Fantastic. So Whatever the okay. second number is in your range, that's the maximum. But you take disadvantage if it's between the first number and the second number. Awesome. And it's impossible beyond this. It's 100 number. to 400 feet. Yeah, it's well okay. within that range. Okay. <laughs> Great, fantastic. <laughs> oh, that's a 22. Scroll back up. Uh, 22 hits. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, for 9 piercing, gonna blow a superiority dice, and... What am I gonna do? 
I've got another. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I hope this thing's not immune to being afraid because it is. Um, gonna make a wisdom save. DC sixteen or is it fifteen? Wow. That's a three over a nat 20. And it just looks at you intently with its hollow skeletal eyes. Cool. And erupts its flames even bigger and a little bit of anger rather than fear. Well, there's an extra seven damage. And I get to shoot another one because I've got an extra attack. Does a 17 hit? It does. For uh, seven, seven more damage. More damage. So, I don't know, twenty-three, I think. It is uh, riddled with arrows, and its skeletal form is beginning to chip away and fade. <laughs> ah! I'm like actively patting out fires on myself. Hey, who needs magic? Who needs magic? Well, now I can hear him. <laughs> That's who needs magic is Spoon's fucking battle cry. <laughs> this zombie shambles ever closer to us. As does this one. And this one's gonna try braving the channel to get towards Paige, making a uh, strength saving throw. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> As it instead gets swept 20 feet down river, completely unbeknownst to Paige. Who just hears the, the faint shouting of Spoon making fun of magical cowards. And they just hear that loves of flesh. The fuck was that? Oh, that was weird. Is that Kurt? Kurt not Kurt, cut to Kurt desperately trying to swim back. <laughs> <laughs> Krell's gonna move right up into melee range. Hell yeah, she is. And she don't not cast make, shit. <laughs> not make a melee attack. But she is about to uh, force four creatures to make a wisdom saving throw. Hell yeah. As she moves up and lets out a Thunderous War Shout. That hits in a 30 foot code. Ooh. It appears I'm just barely saved from that. And this skull is just out of reach. And the skull is just out of reach. Yep. I'm trying to get rid of melee attackers here, okay? That's true. <laughs> Not the guy who just casually threw 30 damage at us. <laughs> okay, oh, Krell's popping off. Oh, oh my wow. god. Oh, god. Always See how Krell lets out her thunderous war cry and suddenly these zombies are just like looking at Krell ready to get their eat on and suddenly their jaws drop open and you see fear in their eyes as Krell unleashes the level 3 fear spell Aye. showing these zombies their worst fear and if you could just imagine what the dead fear that's what they're seeing so for the next minute, they are frightened and must, they immediately drop whatever they're holding, for one, uh -huh. 
they become frightened for the next minute and must take the dash action to move as far as possible away from Krell, taking the safest route available on each of its turns, unless there's nowhere to move. And it has to get out of line of sight of Krell to be able to make another wisdom save to try and end the spell. Magic is powerful, man. Well, Krell can still see everything within 120 feet in complete darkness. That's so they true. have to get that far away from Krell to even get a wisdom save. Uh, she could see up to 12 spaces in every direction, and that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Considering these zombies dash for uh, 40 meters of movement each turn, it's going to be at least three <laughs> turns before They're they get be to doing make that, that for save. Three turns. <laughs> And the first one's up. So he runs 40 feet directly away from Crow. Oh, they can just walk over that? Uh, walk under it. Oh, it's like, okay, it's like over Yeah, it's Got suspended it. up. Gotcha, gotcha. But this is like a five foot platform here at the top. Okay, Roger, right, makes sense. That makes sense. Alright. This one's going to move to the edge of the riverbank, and it's just going to casually rip off one of its arms and give it a good huck at our boy uh, Paige across <laughs> the water. <laughs> do, zo do zombie? Uh, I guess... Completely missing Paige. <laughs> that's such a fucking... That's so weird. Where does the arm drop from the water on my side? Uh... With that roll, it lands somewhere in the water and begins getting swept down. What are they throwing rocks on the water? What is what the, what the hell is going on over here? I wonder how if that thing has another third level spell slot. <laughs> then, because yeah. it, because if it casts if it casts fireball again, yeah, we're a little screwed. We're, we're in a lot of trouble. The <laughs> minimum damage we can take from that is eight. <laughs> Which is the, the most unlikely thing to happen. Alright, the other zombie there makes a move forward and jumps into the water trying to get a... Well, first it's going to make that strength save. God, these, these guys are just not rolling Getting good. carried down the river further. <laughs> but it is still in melee range, so it is going to take a swipe at Paige. Oh, no. That's a oh. 20. I feel like that... I, I feel like that seems like a... Ooh, that's, yeah, alright. Okay. <laughs> that's wacky. Uh, does a 20 hit you? Already. Yep. <laughs> Making sure you didn't want to cast any reactions or what have you. I don't For have five any points reaction. bludgeoning damage. As well, somehow you do have the shield least... stick. Yeah, shield but it would only get him to 16. Oh, great. And uh, uh, Paige, Paige is now aware he's in combat and can roll into initiative. Nice. <laughs> That's a that one. <laughs> Take Paige. pleasure in the fact. Take pleasure in the fact that there are at least two things that you still get to move before. One thing. That's and that one automatically puts you at the bottom of the list, tied with oh. the other that one, because he's got that point one. He still goes before the other guy. <laughs> ah, but uh, this boy gets to spend his whole forty move feet of movement running away from Krell. I'm gonna make an attack of opportunity. Alright, you do that. I, I'm still wielding my heavy crossbow, so I guess I have to shoot at it with that. Yep, which will be a disadvantage since you're point blank. Oh, okay. Uh, 19. Hits. <laughs> For 13 piercing. Nice, as you basically hold your crossbow right up to the back of this thing as it runs away and just fire a crossbow bolt not into it but straight through its rotten form ha! 
And These the, eggs suck. The flaming skull is up again. God, please don't. I beg. <laughs> Fortunately, I cannot cast another fireball. Oh, thank God. It's gonna cast something else that does good damage. Uh, not damage. Oh. But it is going to cast the second level spell, Blur. Its body becomes blurred, completely shifting almost between dimensions. For the next up to one minute, any creature that attacks it has disadvantage. An attacker is immune to this effect if it doesn't rely on sight, as with blind sight, or if you can see through illusions, as with true sight. So if Krell okay. gets within 20 feet of this thing, she'll be able to take attacks normally. All right, Krell. How far does Krell have to move to be within 20 feet of it? That's a real question. 20 feet. Okay. Yeah, she, she can do it. I'm gonna Another go zombie gets to sprint far, far away from Krell. And spoons up. Hmm. What is the play? I guess I'm gonna shoot at the boy I hit. Plow. It's a 25 hit. Uh, yes. Four piercing. Then I get to shoot at it again. I don't think it ten hits. Uh, on the right screen. A ten hits. A zombie. Oh shit. Four, five piercing. Oh wait, you're using a heavy crossbow, right? That is correct. You have to use uh, an action to reload. Oh. <laughs> you didn't have to with a hand crossbow. At least I think crossbows reload this edition. Um, hey, give, me, me, give me a second to look that up. Yeah, I'm well, not trying to look at the... There'd be a I bit of an hold, issue. A whole action to just reload it? I can't uh, remember if it's a full action or a bonus action. Uh, heavy crossbow. Say here, ammunition. Crossbow heavy. Yeah, loading. Hmm. Uh, heavy crossbow. Oh, uh, it has the loading attribute, but it does. It's not. Oh, next time you enter a room full of corpses, first thing first, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it does not... I can't... Oh, well, I guess I could just look that up then. Okay, because of the time required to load this weapon, you could fire only one piece of ammunition from it when you use an action, bonus action, or reaction to fire it, regardless mm. of the number of attacks you can normally make. Hmm. Okay. Uh, now we, this can be now interpreted to mean that when you use an action or bonus action or reaction that grants you the weapon's attack, the attack action, a ready action reaction, an opportunity attack, etc., a weapon with this quality can make no more than one weapon attack per round. Per Okay. Understood. Comprehensible. Man, this game has a lot of rules. <sighs> so then I did not take a second shot at that boy. But what I do have 
No, it specifically gives your example right here. Uh, a fighter with extra attack could not because both of his attacks come from the same action. Okay. But if you were to action surge, you could do it. I see. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to blow my action surge here. But what I will do is expend another superiority die to trip him. <laughs> so he gets to make a, a strength save, or is it a dex save? I forgot to reduce the health from the damage. He's actually dead. Well, oh. gets to make his constitution save. Right. Roll low. How many nice superiority dice do you have? Five, because I took the martial adept feat. Oh. All right, he was killed by five points damage, so he just barely fails. That well, not just barely fails it by three. So that zombie does indeed remain dead. Fantastic! Congratulations, you killed the zombie that could in no way have harmed you. <laughs> yep. It was in fact the slowest zombie of the whole group. Awesome. Yeah, because I put a crossbow bolt through him. Twice. And if it weren't for the rules of this game, it would have been three times. <laughs> Against the rules. Any bonus action usage here? Um... Yeah, actually, if I can't make two attacks on my turn, can I still use Commanding Strike to forego one of my attacks to have someone else make an attack? Uh, yes. Cool. Then, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll blow that second superiority dice. And, uh, I guess Command Krell to attack. Uh, does it say specifically what she has to attack with? So I can't the remember if I can't remember if it specifies make... the weapon in her hand or not. It just says use its reaction to make one weapon attack. Yeah, Krell does not actually have a weapon active at this moment. She can just... <laughs> Damn, you can't... That is tough. A lot of... A lot of rules. Not a great day for Spoon today. Not... not good. I guess, well, then I guess not. I guess there's no, n n nothing else for me to do, I suppose. Okay, just save the superiority for the moment. Yeah. Uh, the last of the zombies to be affected by Krell's mighty war cry runs in terror. And the only one over here that wasn't affected is going to move forward and try to put the beat down on Krell. Let's we'll see how that turns out. Because it's gone so well every other time. Well. I uh, 18 hits, Krell. I should not have opened my stupid fucking mouth. For seven more points of bludgeoning damage. This Krell is definitely taking a turn for the worse here. I think this is the closest to death she's been in a good long while. <laughs> Uh, it's a miracle the wizard of the party is the one with almost full health. Well, you didn't get fireball casted on you. If you were over there, you would have been f***ed. <laughs> and that's fucked with a capital F. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, this zombie gets to make a strength save to hopefully get out of the water again. And it succeeds in dragging itself out of the water. Damn. Uh -oh. <laughs> 14, and it, huh? And it gets to attack our poor bird friend here. I'm pretty sure a 19 uh, hits it. A 19 definitely <laughs> hits it. And, and your bird goes back to the shadow realm. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Krell's turn. Good go luck, Krell. Hmm. Why do I have
have so much concentration shit. <laughs> also, how was that not concentration? Yeah. Spell casting. Alright, Krell's gonna stab a fool. Actually, Krell's <laughs> gonna try and hit a fool with new mace that I just remembered exists. Hell yeah. It's called Lightbringer? Yep. <laughs> As it, she draws it from her pack, it creates a, uh, where did the description go? It, uh, glows as bright as a standard torch. And she swings it at this zombie's face, missing it entirely, but it draws itself aback a little bit to kind of shield its face from that intense light. And uh, using her bonus action, Krell's going to cast a second level healing word on herself. That is a fair thing. For a big ol' six points of healing. Ooh! <laughs> Alright, he's still affected by fear and will continue sprinting far, far away from Krell. Imagine just p taking your arm off and throwing it at a dude. <laughs> That's surely gotta give him, like, disadvantage on his save, right? This zombie is going to attempt once, attempt to cross the water here. Making it handily. And it's gonna take its one good arm and try and smack Paige with it. And a 13 uh, 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 currently uh, uh, hits. Uh, 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 doesn't. <laughs> shield. <laughs> Alright, brings that shield up with your staff of defense. Ooh. Nullifying that zombie's attack. As the other zombie here is going to attempt to pull itself onto the shore. Suddenly rolling much uh well. <laughs> For fuck's sake. That really you really still should... got a 16, you know? Yeah, but there really should be a, a action <laughs> to jump over. That is a nice 20. Oh no. <laughs> For 12 points damage. Oh. Bad? V and three Very points. bad. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, well, hey, it's your turn next, so you can probably get rid of some of them. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, here's the thing I'm going to do. Uh, can I see the other side? Um, with your little prestidigitation light only casting a five foot radius light around you you can't quite see the bank on any side of you okay I you know it's over there somewhere the but can I roll insight to figure out that the zombies might uh, come from here then there must be something near since they are you know defecated corpses and can't swim uh, with that reasoning I'll give you advantage on that roll <laughs> <laughs> nice. Advance. Oh, so they weren't like they weren't like forging across. They were just hopping. Uh, they were kind of like they don't need to breathe, so mm, they can okay. just do jump into the water and tread along the bottom. So they were using, like yeah, Oregon they, Trail forging. Yeah. They were rolling the strength saves to not be swept away by the water while they walked across the bottom of it. Gotcha. But, uh, you detect that within their 20 feet of movement that you know a zombie has, because you can control zombies, you know that within that 20 feet, they made it across this river. So you know a general so distance of how far across you'd have to go to be safely on the other side. So I'm going to cast Mrs. Steph and teleport to the other side. <laughs> That very much works. And One, since you two, teleported three. out of the way, you suffer no attacks of opportunity. 
And I also going to have an action, so I'm going to drink a health potion, if I have one. Thank you, Phil. Uh, I believe you have three. I have three potions of healing, so I'm going to drink one. Hell yeah. Uh, how many plus, is it? It's 2d4 two two four plus, plus 4. 2d4 four. Four plus 4. Man, you bring up the advanced dice roll from when I eventually start doing that. Uh, 8. Still a good amount of healing. For you it is. Yeah, it gets about both half. And the flaming skull is up once more. Alright. This thing's starting to get on my nerves. What's it, what's it gonna do? I could feel menace. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Okay, the flaming skull detecting our boy okay. Spoon is the bigger threat is gonna target with two fire ray attacks. Oh boy. The second yeah, missing. one of those hits. For thirteen points fire. Yeah, I go down. <laughs> <sighs> That is a problem. Just a lot of s the smell of all these scorched pelts that are all over Spoon's person just wafts through the air and is continuously getting crashed by waves cavern, blowing it downwind right into Paige's face so he knows something's up. Oh well, there's something out there. <laughs> The zombie yeah, has to continue to haul ass away from Krell. Spoon's turn. Yeah. For death Here's save. It. Here is your death save. Four. That's a fail. That is definitely a fail. Ugh. Oh boy. Not. Good, gang. Shit, the family is dead. Yes, <laughs> they can't fly over and give me no potions. Crawls within melee range. You just gotta That's true. hope Krell doesn't get down by the zombie that can attack her. That's true. And if everything, and if things go horribly wrong, and I die, you know, we still have that scroll of revivify. Alright, Zombie gets to make his attack against Krell. And if both of us die, he... <laughs> I saw that 20 pop up and I oh, shit yeah, a brick. I, I, was, <laughs> I was so devastated that I saw it was the second number. <laughs> As the zombie misses Krell. If somehow both of us manage to die, Paige gets to make the decision of who gets to live. <laughs> yeah. Wait a moment, I ha if both happens to die, I have the perfect image right here. <laughs> Which one of us are you going to zombify? <laughs> got, two <laughs> got two third level spell slots and you could do both. I just sent a meme on the third level spell. And the zombie fails its check to ford the river and instead ends up way downstream. That's, not, that's, that's funny. I just sent a meme on Arts and Memes that's perfect for that situation. It, it really is. I was oh, worried. God. <laughs> that's great. I was guarding it for when someone died, but this <laughs> also was a good opportunity to use. Hold up. <laughs> I know I had a good one in here so, real quick. Oh, awesome. Well, I'm deciding what Krell needs to do. It's a bonus action, but I can cast it as a full action. How dare you? Okay, you're only negative two. How dare you? <laughs> oh, 
How dead are you? <laughs> what is your current level of unconsciousness so I can decide my uh, turn economy? I'm, just, I'm like dreading the idea that I could roll a nat 1 next turn. I'm working on it. Working on giving a nat 1? <laughs> Working nearby on saving him from having to make that save. A nearby divination wizard who rolled there two not ones this morning. <laughs> You're a divination wizard and you didn't just use your change out dice. He is a necromancy wizard. The, the, the top image looks like something from an Atlas game. Uh, they're both from uh, Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. Huh. <laughs> and, uh, she looks like she's like fresh out of like a Shin Megami Tensei game. Paige cares a lot about the environment. Recycling is very important. Recycling is good. All right. Necromancy is bad. Krell's gonna use another second level spell slot and her full action instead of a bonus action to cast healing word on spoon bringing him back up 11 what what's the is there a substantial difference between using a bonus action to do that uh the only difference is i'm using my full action so i can use my bonus action to use a bonus action only ability gotcha okay because you could choose to use a bonus action spell as a full action. It just oh, okay. messes up your turn economy. Instead of Krell normally being able to attack twice, using an attack and a bonus action. It's using two different bonus action abilities using a full action. Gotcha. Because only one of them is a spell. Okay. And uh, she's also going to... As she's resurrecting Spoon here... Give him a good old pat on the back. You got this, buddy. And Hell give yeah. him a Bardic Inspiration die. So you get to add a D8. Ooh. To, okay, so it, uh, it changes to a D8 at 5th level? Yeah. It gives a D8 at 5th level, a D10 at 10th level, and a D12 at 15th level. Huh. That's a much more standard progression than I thought. So once within the next 10 minutes, you can roll the die and add the number rolled to one ability to check, attack roll, or saving throw that you make. Awesome. So if you go down, you pretty much have a guaranteed at least one of your saving throws is going to succeed. You never know. If I roll low enough, that, I, that an 8 can't help me. Well, you'd have to roll a nat 1 for it to not help you. Yeah. <laughs> Or a two. Uh, this zombie gets to continue to book ass away from Krell. Is he far enough to actually make the check yet? I think so. Nope, ten feet off. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, sneeze snuck up on me. That happens. Like, every time you go outside, it's just, uh, in Florida at least, it's just, yep, every particle of pollen in this area has gone into your nose. The Good zombie luck, is going to make its strength save to attempt to cross back across the river. <laughs> and it'll fail. Being swept all the way down here. And the other zombie's going to make its strength save to attempt to cross the river. With a nat 1. It's going he to just immediately gets sent way down here. Almost to the point of no return. Bye bye. And page is up. Page is uh, up. Oh shit! What the fuck am I going to do? You got right here. So got that workhorse. Let, let, let's throw a good old firebolt. Oh yeah. That zombie right here that's running from Krell. The workhorse. Oh. Oh. That hits. Yeah, that damn. What were you? What the? God damn. I think that's the highest to hit he's ever rolled. Yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd like to think so. Yeah, he rolled a 19. 
And, and since I don't want to get hit on my next turn, I'm going to use my movement to go two levels down. Well, if it fails to save, it can't willingly walk towards you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. The flaming, flaming skulls, skulls, up. skulls up again. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't, please. I beg. <laughs> God damn it. I can I can feel your smirk. <laughs> Every attack it can do just a minimum of enough damage to drop you. God damn it. A minimum <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> This just sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, uh, that one might not kill you. Oh, awesome. Let's hope he misses. That Unless one it's not might an attack not roll. You. Do you have a backup character? <laughs> I've got several. But, oh yeah, uh, me too. It's gonna but burn would... a second level spell slot to cast magic missile. Fire two at Spoon and two at Krell. So Spoon takes seven and Krell takes five. Oh. Whew. This thing needs to die. And it needs to die soon. If it makes you feel slightly better, it now only has first level spell slots. <laughs> has it been a minute yet? I feel like ten rounds have, have passed. Ten or rounds ten... is every time it comes back to your round. Oh, I meant... But a, a turn is six seconds, right? Yeah. Ten turns is what I meant. Yeah. So would its blur still be active? Uh, its concentration is up to... Give me... A just one second. Because if I can run up and start making attacks on it, assuming it's within my range. <laughs> Boy's not gonna have a good day, I'll tell you that much. I don't know what it just is, but I can only imagine making a chef's kiss. <laughs> no, I just like. It sounded to me like uh, blowing the paper off a straw. point is, is I'm going to run at him and make three attacks, and hopefully at okay. least one of them hits him. In combat, a turn only takes six seconds. This includes right. the turn for every creature in the initiative order. So top to bottom, flame skull to page, all happens in the span of six seconds. What the fuck? Yeah. Holy shit. Really? Yeah. All of the, every time we go around the circle, all of that happens in the span of six seconds. So, I mean, your five so, attacks, Krell's three. <laughs> so, so it would be ten rounds then. Yeah. Jesus. This thing's starting to get on my fucking nerves. Right, this zombie gets to make its 40 feet of movement and see if it's far enough away from Krell to make that save. And it is. But if I ran at it, is it within my reach to hit it? I don't think you can run 120 feet. Well, no, I meant the, I the, meant flaming, the flaming skull. skull. Yeah. Um, it's not floating that high, is it? Uh, it's floating just off the ground. Cool, yeah, then I can run it in and make my attacks. <laughs> they may be at disadvantage, but that's never stopped me before. What save was it again? Wisdom. It's just a flaming skull. How high could its AC be? Oh wow, it makes its wisdom save and is no longer afraid of Krell. Cool, it can, it can spend three more of its turns to come over here and hit us. <laughs> And spoons up. No, I'm within range of this thing, so. You uh, rolled the flame skull wisdom save. I'm gonna bolt over here. Uh, the flame skull wasn't within range of the attack. 
No, no, you rode the 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 wizard oh. off the flint oh. instead of the zone. Good catch! I happen to be on the wrong one. Oh! <laughs> oh! It's even more frightening. That's a uh, negative my, uh, natural. <laughs> Whistling my fucking crossbow, unsheathing talon and hue. Let's see how he. Let's see how he, how he likes it. Oh yeah, these are at disadvantage. That's right. And that is unfortunate. God damn it! <laughs> well, I still didn't do too bad. Uh, all three of those, yeah. Awesome. Bad awesome. Thing. Uh, bada bing. Bada bam. Bada boom. For, Jesus. um... 30 that's points 30 damage. points of damage. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> this boom just cast fireball metal version. <laughs> I cast fireball, but with sharp sticks. As you completely obliterate what's remaining of this flaming skeleton skull, its green flames just dissipate into embers and waft off into the air. Yeah! Fuck you! Fuck your magic! God! Another zombie gets to make its wisdom save. I'm calm. That is a natural okay. 20. Not, I was upset for a second, but I'm good now. Now I can... Now I can calm down. And Krell's about to maybe get punched again. Uh -oh. Whoa. No, Definitely she not. isn't. <laughs> so many zombies, man. This one gets to make its strength save again. That is a 17 as it treads its way along the underside of the water, making it to shore. Oh no. Ah, now yeah. you've got two angry zombies coming for you. Unfortunately, I think only one of them can make it into attack range of you. And the time it has finally come for Krell to pull out her daggers and do some stabbing. Uh how to stab some shit. Whew, both of those heads. Let's go. For a total oh, yeah. of 17 points to have hitch. You zombie bitch. And she'll tack her Fury of the Small onto one of those attacks for an additional 5 points damage. For a total of 22 to Whoa. kill the zombie perfectly. <laughs> Damn! Doesn't even need to make a save. Uh, that was the one zombie that was outside the range. Oh. No, I meant the save to not die. Uh, oh yeah. Well, it does get to make that save. Oh. This is a 10. The killing damage was 13. It does not make the save. Very nice. Alright, so this boy has to continue to move as far away from Krell as possible before... Hey, he gets to make it save yeah, now. He gets to make it wisdom save. I was hoping one of them would just dive into Fails the water it. to get away from her. Well, it has to continue getting further and further away from Krell each turn to make it safe so the next thing you can do is jump and in the only river. Sa and the only safe route is for it to dive into the water. And this one's going to make it straight safe to attempt to get across the water. And a 17 oh. will get it there. Uh-oh, my mind. I... And all up uh, in Paige's grill. And then it's an 8, which will not hit Paige. Got to Gotta get out of there, man. Hey, what happens if my zombie and the other one counter themselves? 
How are they going to fight amongst each other? That is the question. Probably once we go over there. There's oh. a natural 20 on that save. As it dashes its way up river. <laughs> <laughs> you just... Okay. Just... <laughs> that, that, that man's determined. <laughs> <laughs> and pages up again. With okay, a zombie uh, breathing down his neck. Many options. First things first, can I push the zombie on the water? You can indeed take a shove action contested by its uh, strength save. Uh, uh, so. Zombies are good at strength. Plus one. Plus one. I'm going to try to make it. So I just need strength? Yep, strength against strength. Wow. Yay! <laughs> against the zombies five as you shove, oh! as you just shove the zombie back ten feet back into the water. And I get away from you. <laughs> Alright. I was here, right? Yeah. 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 Dead and, flame skulls don't get turns. Uh yep, dead flame skulls don't get turns. Until like an hour from now. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> when it just re -apparates. This zombie gets to run even further, passing through a door over here. And then it gets to make its wisdom save again. Which it fails again. <laughs> I love how the zombie got pushed by like a squat, squat human, basically. Lower center of gravity. <laughs> <laughs> and spoons up. God damn, it's uh... toasty in here now. Oh, my heater just kicked on, that's why. 30 feet up there. And let's, 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 let's shoot a crossbow bolt. Oh, there you, there you are. As I... Uh, you're shooting I... a crossbow bolt at which enemy that you can't see right now? Oh, yeah. I can't <laughs> see shit. <laughs> well. Yeah, the only creature that was lighting anything up was the flame skull. What? That's fine. And since you're operating just... with a heavy crossbow, you have to use both hands. Which, ironically well, enough, means you can, in fact, use your uh, great weapon master with that. Well, then I will simply dash this turn to get over here. Alright. The zombie, wow. who fortunately made it save last turn, is going to shamble in your general direction. Ooh, menacing. Dead zombies don't get turns. Yeah, it, didn't, it didn't rip its arm off to throw it at me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this zombie's going to begin shambling down the river. Krell's so far away from the action. You know, Krell's just going to drink a health potion this turn. <laughs> She's I don't it. have any health potions anymore. Krell is down to her last one. I used one to help a uh, page last time. I used my last one to help page, so. I have two health potions. Oh, sweet glorious healing. Just doubled ah. her health pool. No, not minus. Still not above half. That's uh, worrying. That's all crawls. Worried with all the things that are currently running away from you at high speeds. Is she just gonna meander towards the battle? As this zombie has no choice but to jump into the water. <laughs> and gets to make its wisdom save. Which it succeeds, I believe. The hell is Does it also have to make a strength save? 
Hold on. Uh, yep, it succeeds because it matches. And now it also gets a strength save. Oh no, it already made its movement, so it doesn't get to make the strength save until next turn. Oh, gotcha. Ooh, a lot right. of zombies in water right now. Yeah, zombie that got pushed into the water. Gets swept even further down where it's stream. Thank God. This one needs to make his strength check. And gets pushed further downstream. See, it's all fun and games until we end up wherever the hell all these zombies are getting pushed. That's true. We're going to walk over there after like a short rest and we're going to get fucked up. Page's turn. Page's oh. turn. Good old cantrip. Hell yeah, you are. Go work. On work this work. one. Ah. Eight hits. Uh, and he does hit. Wow! The zombies, man, they're not wearing armor. Mine is. <laughs> Yours is. God knows where he is. Alright. Zombie yeah, continuing sure. to run away. Still fails the save. This boy has been running since like all the way over here. <laughs> and don't be traumatized. Just absolutely terrified of this goblin. And Aren't we all? Can I use Rightly a? So. Can I use a bonus action to light up a torch? Yes. Fantastic. That's the plan. Light up a torch and take. Uh, Hue in my other hand, so All I can right. shamble up to this motherfucker and uh, start making some swings on him. Oh, I still have disadvantage on. Is it, uh, this a twenty-six hit. Uh, twenty-six most definitely hits the zombie that eight hit two seconds ago. Uh, for fourteen. Most definitely, as you hack and slash away at the zombie with your axe. Okay, it's still alive, so let's take yeah. another swing at it. That's a nat oh. one. Does a nine hit it though? Uh, it does not matter. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> All right, where's, my, where's my where's my d20? There it is. Oh, you did it for 14. me. Uh, oh. Give me a dex save. Dex save, huh? That's a nineteen. Uh, you succeed in uh, re-catching your footing in this damp cavern. Saving yourself from uh, falling and knocking your wind out of yourself again. It seems you learned from your previous mistake of having done that same thing. And I used my bonus action already. And I both of your attack actions. I can't, so I, yeah. Uh, who's, yeah, all right, no, fuck, nope, nope. Um, fuck it, yeah, let's risk it. Yeah, all right, I'm, I'm good, I'm done. All right. <laughs> I was considering action surging to make sure it didn't kill me, but, you know, hope it miss. Uh, it doesn't 20. miss. <laughs> Fuck my life. Just popping oh, you right in the chicklets for six I points of damage. I totally forgot I had Bardic Inspiration, man. This just sucks. Uh, can I oh. catch Shield of Spoon or is it just a mind spell? Can you get, uh... You can read it and find out. I think yeah, shield I don't might have only be self. Oh, self. shit. Is it really? Hold on, where's that flame skull? I know he had it. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't think to use it when I was up in his fucking grill. Wouldn't have mattered. Your attacks are too high. <laughs> Despite his high health, he does not have all that much HP. Uh, shield. Uh, yeah, range of self. Yeah, so you can only cast that on you. Uh. Oh. Down the Iowa. How much did he hit me for? Six blood. Uh, six. So you're only down where, four. Where is my character sheet? There he is. 
The zombie making his death march towards Paige. <laughs> Curls <laughs> up. <Yeah. laughs> Alright. How far does Krell move have to move to be within 60 feet of spoon? Alright. Oh. Yeah. I'm frankly getting tired of this. Burning another second level spell slot. <clears throat> to give Spoon ten, 10 hit points back. Let's go, 6 health. And... What to do with the rest of that action? Other action. Nothing's within my spell range that I could hit with any type of accuracy. Or my throwing range, rather, not spell range. Because I can't cast two spells in one turn. Well, I could if one is a cantrip, but I don't think Vicious Mockery is doing a whole lot of these zombies. I mean, you never know. You may of, as well, right? It's it's and they're out damage. of knife range, so I'll just take the dash action to get over here and back page up. What's up? Uh, Spoon's gotten knocked out twice so far. That's worrying. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's it, buddy. I'm supposed to be the cool one. God damn it. The zombie gets big strength save again. Wait, when we get over there, we're gonna have a Ooh. hell of a The zombie that. just gets completely swept into the other chamber that we don't know exists. And we don't know that the other zombie's also there. Alright, this one gets to make its strength save. <laughs> wow. 16. As he manages to dredge himself onto land. So many dice are being thrown around. And this one gets pushed a further back. Nearing the precipice of this channel. And page is up. Okay, I'm going to uh, use the force to choke the zombie to death. Hell yeah. Alright. Necrotic damage, baby. Nice. Uh, ten hits wow. for twelve Dead. further damage as your skeletal hands form around its throat, just absolutely choking the life out of it. And it sure as hell doesn't get to make it save. Oh yeah. Yes, because That's chill touch much. has the effect where uh, it can't regain hit points. Hell yeah, baby. It's very useful against the undead. Yeah, which is weird Indeed. considering it's a necromancy. <clears throat> and if you hit an undead target it, with it, it also takes disadvantage on all attack rolls. <laughs> that is true, and I'm also going to move a little bit. Alright, absolutely terrified zombie so continues sprinting far far away from our terrifying goblin uh, I think he might be back within range nope he still gets to make his saves <laughs> that 20 is his way out of being terrified of Krell finally after running approximately a mile mmm and spoons up with his uh, previous assailant dead in his sights. Is uh, it a 23 hit? Most definitely. 14. Uh, that's a big old murder. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I'm back, bitch! Axe! <laughs> mm. Yep, awesome. Uh, one, two, three. Damn it! How far away is this fucking thing? 
So, no. uh, I'm sorry. Oh, right, yeah, he gets to make his con save, right? Uh, well, that also. But, uh, that wasn't what I was saying sorry for. Oh, fuck me. He fails the con save. Awesome. But, uh, moving back over to that door there, since it is wide open... This is what you see on the other side of it. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Enemies tightly closed on a room near each other. Yo? <laughs> you know what that sounds like? That sounds like a, a hilarious fireball moment to me. Exactly. In a fit of rage, I think I'm going to... What am I going to... What, what, what would I do here? I throw something? What can I throw? Can do so have an attack action. I have my torch in my hand. My can I can I drop Hugh and toss a hand or yeah, can I drop Hugh and toss a hand axe in there? Uh yeah. Alright, cool. Uh twenty-five? At this guy? Uh yeah, let me bring up that character sheet real quick. I imagine a 25 hits. Is he within range, actually? That's a great question. Uh -huh. 20. Uh, he's 40 feet away from you. Yeah, he's within range. Uh, yes, that does hit. So, one awesome. damage. Uh, nine damage. Now you just come storming into this room, momentarily panic. Dropping then, Hugh in the process, but also grabbing one of the hand axes off your belt and just hucking it at this bugbear. Uh, joke's on him. I actually aimed for his leg, so he gets to make a deck save. <laughs> Alright. Or no, a strength save, sorry. Same modifier, doesn't matter. Okay. Um, a 17... I think that passes. It's um... 8 plus 3 plus... Yeah, it passes. Alright. But it does take an extra damage. Yeah, it does still take damage. damage. So, uh... Where's the D? There it is. For an extra 4 damage. Nice. Uh, dead zombies don't get turns. Dead zombies still don't get turns. Crawls up. Crawls up. I do not recommend getting closer to the room. <laughs> Uh, she's in zombie stabbing mode, so okay. she's going to move forward, and dagger, dagger. Dagger, dagger, dagger. <laughs> Both uh, of them hit. Is that a 19 on the die? Oh, Paige, your turn is oh <laughs> so close. <laughs> so beautifully A total close. of 15 points damage. I can I can smell I can smell the vast explosion coming soon. Hopefully, the one that I'm not within range of. The zombie yeah, the moves best. up and begins to assail. Excuse crowd. me for just a moment. Got it. Oh, never mind. That's a net, that's a one and a two on the dice. <laughs> you know the best part? Since fireball is not a projectile, you don't have to roll anything. Yeah, you don't have to get out the fucking way. They just have to. They just have to make a save. And what's the radius on that? 60 feet? Or is it 30 uh, feet? Uh, it's a 20 I... foot radius, so 40 20. foot from side to side. I Jeez. can't. I think most of the things in there are going to get hit. Here. Alright. <laughs> Everything is going to get hit. If you cast it, like, on this thing. Yep, I'm going to cast on here. So if this zombie goes to catch Krell, or hit Krell, she just instinctively draws her her uh, cutlasses from her back and catches it in a cross pattern, just holding his arm there. <laughs> He's going to need to be taking strength saves to get that arm back. Nice. <laughs> and uh, very far away zombie gets to make a strength save. Gotta love it. Makes it, and begins to slowly make its way back up river. And uh, our pyromaniac is up. 
Please. It cast. Fireball. Finally. And that brazier in the middle of the room is in fact lit up, so you can see where to hit. Exactly. That... I cast on this bugbear right here, that way I can hit uh, that one and these other two. The other three, actually. Uh, no, this one doesn't hit. Oh, he's not, he's not quite in range? Yeah. Okay, if you're centering it on that one, spoons in the blast radius. Ah! Uh, no, no, uh, it's only 20 feet. <laughs> it's 20 foot radius. It's oh, a, yeah, 20 it's feet a, yeah, from the center. It. Yeah, if you cast it on the brazier, then I think I'm, I think I'm good. Yeah, cast on the brazier then. Yeah. And everything, everything in there will get hit. Nice. They all get to make a deck save. Yes, they do. Oh, Let's start with the zombie, because just... there's only one of them. Oh boy. <laughs> and it's fire damage. damage. How many are in there? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, five? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, that one passes, takes half damage. That one ooh. passes, takes half damage. That one uh -huh. doesn't pass, okay. takes 26. Alrighty. So two full damages to the bugbears and two uh, half damages. Yep. And a dead zombie. <laughs> and a dead zombie. A very dead zombie. Well, a zombie that gets to make a, a uh, save, rather. A uh, yeah. <laughs> Very yeah. dead. So, uh, the save he had to make was a 31, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no chance. <laughs> Not even a nat 20 was coming back from that. After everything, after seeing fucking spawn for the last 60 seconds, he just gets fucking exploded. <laughs> <laughs> what am I dead afraid of? I don't know. I chose spawn because I like spawn. Oh yeah. And he's like an underworld thing. Kinda sorta. <laughs> depends on I mean he talks about hell all the time. Yeah, it really depends on which of the timelines you're talking about. Comics. Gotta love them. Hold on. It's like, yeah, this version of Superman is multi universal, but this one's only solar system level. And the new Superman is bisexual. I missed one of those deck saves. That was the initiative button. What the fuck? I thought that was I thought that was Superboy. Yep, that's a clone of Superman that also has Lex Luthor's DNA. Interesting. So that one also fails to save. The save. <laughs> what? So. uh... <laughs> You're going to be severely depressed by this. I fucking misclicked. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. How many things in there? How hurt are they? They got to be, like, really hurt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely devastating. Oh, just beautiful. So many things hurt and close to death. It was, I know, I think you ready I, for the uh, depressing part? What's what? the depressing part? All four of those bugbears that made or failed the save are all at one HP. Oh my god. These bugbears have 27 HP. And the, oh one that was god. <laughs> and the one that was already damaged took half damage and he was at 14. <laughs> that is so like 
That's such like a fucking kick in the face. So yeah, the Spoon's just standing in the doorway, and all of a sudden the room just erupts in a giant explosion of fire. And as the fire begins to die down, you just see the zombie dead, and five bugbears still standing, pulling themselves up and just kind of brushing the fire off of them. Just almost entire bodies incinerated. <clears throat> oh, just I like understand what the fireman said about. <laughs> chunks of charred flesh falling off as they're barely alive. Alright, dead zombies don't get turns. In conclusion, I'm about to get fucked up. <laughs> I'm about, bad, bad things are about to happen to Mr. Spoon of Squirrelstead. Well, it is your turn, and uh, they don't get to roll into initiative until after, uh... uh oh, wait, Paige is the end of the initiative, so now they do get to roll into initiative. Uh, so, fucking... wherever they end up, it gets reordered. I just majorly poked myself in the eye. <laughs> what did you do that for? I didn't mean to, I was scratching my eye, and then I went up too far. And I just, please, please keep rolling that. Keep rolling like that. Yes. Damn it! <laughs> wow. Three sixes, huh? Apparently. Which one is that? Uh, the least. The one in the one. back. Thank God. I think. I, I have a year oh, to they wake up and it, 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 it clogged just for a moment to hear Spoon screaming and it went back to be clogged. Alright, he's gonna move forward and from 10 feet away. Uh, no. He's gonna no. huck a javelin straight at Spoon's face. Aw, oh, this sucks. That doesn't hit. <laughs> Fortunately. I don't have. Uh, my hand axe is currently buried into the leg of. That fellow right there, so... Your hand axe being partially flammable no longer has a handle. <laughs> oh. Well... Because it's... fireball ignites all ignitable things in the area. So all well, of these beds are on fire. All of the various tools and trinkets yeah. and all I think, flammable I think, objects. I think this are bed's fine. Yeah, that one bed is perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have a place to sleep later. Well, there's plenty of light in there now, <laughs> and some of these guys, I think if they stay in there, they're going to kind of catch on fire. They've got fur on them, I think. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn, huh? Yep. Well, time to do what I do best and be ballsy. <laughs> First guy. Um, don't need a torch anymore, so let's go ahead and pull out talent as well. First guy, 28, that dead. <laughs> moving up, moving forward, this guy. Isn't <laughs> dead, by the way. Wait, oh yeah, he's got full health. No, he's a half health. Half health, okay. Seven damage, then we'll swing again with Hugh. How's a 14? Um, 14 misses. Uh, got that D8 Bardic Inspiration. Is a 17 hit? Uh, 17 does. How's 11 slashing? Uh, that'll kill him. Perfect. Now we can move forward. Swing at this <laughs> guy. Quit. <laughs> Swing back out of the Talon. 16. Uh, hits. 4. 5 damage. Dead. I um, just made the room uh, have the most horrible smell of hair burning and fur and flesh. Yeah. I haven't... I don't have anything... I don't have any ranged attacks. Which suck. Well, actually... Well, hold on. No, it's still five feet. So, if I action surge, the best I could do is toss my weapons at them. And that would be a disadvantage, right? Uh, if they don't have the throne action, then yes. You have. And they would also count. And they would also count its improvised weapons, which uh, you are not proficient well, in, so they do very little damage. I mean, have most of these guys have one health, so I'm not super worried about it. Well, Spoon doesn't know that. 
That's true. Spoon doesn't know that. <laughs> but I do. You have a ability score improvement on the yeah. next level. Just pick the magic yeah. initiative feat and you have a cantrip. <laughs> and two first level spells. And some first level spells, that's true. Um, but Spoon doesn't what? believe in magic. <laughs> <laughs> Spoon doesn't believe in magic, so, so just to have a sudden magic awakening would be a bit weird for him. <laughs> Uh, why is this so late in life? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm 62 years old! Um, boy. Just why so, am I a sudden wizard? <laughs> <laughs> it'd be... It'd be kind of risky. Don't you hate when you wake up risky and you're a wizard Spoon's that? other part of his name, apparently. I'm gonna... I'm gonna bonus action... Oh no, I already used my bonus action for the third attack. Shit! Alright, I'm gonna action surge, uh, toss Talon at this guy. Alright. Roll, and what would I roll? Because it's at disadvantage, so. Um, I wouldn't roll Talon's you, attack, you I assume. You your proficiency in it, so it'd be a straight d20 to hit. A straight d20, huh? Yep. Shit. Uh... Two, so I uh, yeah, I fucking miss. Entirely. And then I'll toss Hugh at this actually no, I'll toss Hugh at the same guy. <laughs> Just rage throwing your weapons. And that that also one. misses. Oh, <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm out of weapons. These guys are going to die with just a prick. Alright. Come on then! Okay, you get a D10 for your failure at throwing weapons. Oh, sick. I have a shorter a shirt for that. A three. <laughs> Roll me a oh. deck save. God damn it. Everything is everything went so wrong. <laughs> uh eighteen. Well, you also succeed in this deck save to once again avoid losing your footing in this damp chamber. <sighs> okay. I reused, That's enough bloodlust. I reused that consequence quite a bit. <laughs> apparently. Oh boy. But uh, Oh boy. <laughs> it's a thing that could happen in real life. Oh boy. He's gonna, I'm in trouble. <laughs> he's gonna move up and attempt to pimp smack you with his morning star. 17 ain't hitting. I'm gonna use my reaction to hit him with my whip. <laughs> with... Is uh, it 25 hit? Yeah, that'll hit. For uh, 8 slashing and then plus a d8. <laughs> the, the plus a d8 does not matter, like at all. <laughs> I don't care, 14 damage. <laughs> Yeah, the other one's going, <laughs> since you now turn to look at the zombie you're whipping, the bug, or zombie, bugbear that you're whipping, the bugbear that was just coming at you from behind now has advantage on his morning star attack. <clears throat> oh. That is a 20. Oh, yeah. It's... Oh. Jesus Christ. Hold on. Uh, I had that six its, health. That was its first round of combat. Oh, no. So it does get the 2d6, which is already added into the attack roll, I believe. Okay. Thank God. Uh, do you have right. second wind? I do, but I'm our, I, I, I can't use it while I'm down. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, that's just the regular Morningstar damage. Oh, no. It still adds... The 2D6 a, 2d6 isn't gonna put him much lower, but it's 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 still uh, kind of an additional oh. 11. So for a total okay, of 26. So 26 damage, meeting me at negative 20. <laughs> oh boy! And uh, yeah. your healer yeah. is all the way. 150, 150 feet away. away. This is. Really bad. But Paige nope. has healing potions. 
is 90 feet away and has a teleporting spell that gets him 30 feet closer. Don't don't yeah. bugbears have uh, multi attack? Nope, they have surprise oh. attack, which is Thank why God. it did the extra 2d6 because it was its first turn of combat. Because okay, if, um, if they can hit me, if they if you get hit while you're down, that's an instant fail on your death save, right? Yes. Okay, I know what to do. I'm going. Do you? Yeah, I'm going to use Misty Step to get to here. Then I'm going to walk to here. Use a cantrip to kill one of the bugbears. That'd be uh, awesome. Well, one of these bugbears is going to. Uh... Do some rage pounding with a javelin here. Oh, come on. 19 yeah, hit. A 19 hit. <laughs> or 12 piercing. Oh, oh, <laughs> and Spoon so... gets very, very close to death. Uh, Being <laughs> negative 32 with a single failed to death save. Oh, Lord. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. This is... This is all sorts of bad. Alright, what Wait, is Krill's... Is he just make a second attack? What? Second bugbear. There's bear. three... Oh. There's oh, still right. one alive okay. on the far side of the room. It's 60... 30... Oh, no, I'm so, I'm so, I'm, I'm nine hit points off oh, of, of death. Don't worry, one way or another, your corpse is going to back to life. Depending, depending on your game of rock, paper, scissors with Krell. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> really bad. Uh, I'm in a, I'm in a really bad spot. I've been in I've I've been in bad spots before, but this this is not good. I think this, this is the worst we ever have. I think I think we're we're not doing too good here. What, what's Krell up to? What, what's Krell gonna do? <laughs> Man, Un Unfucking un real, dude. <laughs> this whole this whole encounter's been pretty bad for Spoon. Today is not being a good day to Spoon. Spoon, the eye gouger of Squirrelstead, has having having some rough luck this mm. week. My hubris is finally catching up to me. He's walking around the town along with a wizard, but he's like all rotten, full of flies around him. <laughs> Groaning. He's weird lately. Yeah, that spoon guy. He's like... He's constantly uh, trying to eat the gray matter of certain animals. It's 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 really he's trying like he's been constantly just nibbling on squirrel brains. It's really weird, <laughs> implying he doesn't do that casually. <laughs> Crow can't get in range to do any of her spells on Spoon. Awesome. Oh wait, hold up. Oh, how close would I be if I went into this corner? Oh, that's fucking perfect. <laughs> But I'm down 32. You have a wizard that I decide to you with, with uh, two health potions. Unless she's about to do some, like, mad damage. Will she risk an attack of opportunity to save her friend? She doesn't need to. Because Krell employs her she's nimble got, escape. She's got nimble escape, that's right! To disengage as a bonus action and sprint over into this corner. And using her powers of uh, Devil Sight, can automatically detect Spoon 
now merely 60 feet away from her. And only nine points away from death. <laughs> and... I thought I was so cool. Since, uh... <laughs> Unconscious creatures don't have the ability to sense things happening around them, such as sound. Oh! oh. Need my doodle tool. Do we, do, should we even bother? Like, do they have to make a save? Because let me one of them does. She's gonna center a shatter spell. Oh yeah, these with guys her are final fucked. second level spell. These guys are fucked. You are Let's see just well, yeah, how fucked. Yeah, I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, he's unconscious. He can't hear. I can't. I can't hear anything. That's a failed save. And that's a failed save. So they both take ten points of thunder damage. They would have taken half as much on a save. Died anyway. <laughs> well, one of them dies. I think one of them has 13 health. I think. Yep. I, I had such a cruel plan plan to make them. Kill yeah, them. you. You could still do it to a, to a. Oh, they're both dead. Okay. They are yeah. both dead. We are out of combat. Start running. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Drop the both potions. One. Spoon gets right to make a death you. save while you're running, yep. though. That is the only downside. Okay. I can... No nat 1. That's all we're looking for. Okay. That's 14. A... That's a success. Right. So, here's my idea, right? Maybe we... You know, we. I'm down 32 health, so I think even if you gave me all of your current healing potions, I'm still doing pretty bad. So I'm gonna roll the next save, and that kind of determines what we do next. Okay. If it's a fail, we should probably go the healing route. If it doesn't, I'll roll one more. Hold on, let me, let me math here. Okay, that's a fail. Alright, so... Not, Actually, let's have uh, Paige roll that first healing potion before that death save is rolled. Okay. Uh, and Spoon wa er, Krell wasted her whole turn getting over here. Awesome. So roll for healing. I'm in so much trouble. That is 8, bringing you to 20... 26. That's not right, 24? Uh, 32 minus 8. Yeah, 24, my bad. And, and then that's when I would have rolled that save, then, yep. right? And then in the next turn, since Paige and Krell both have healing potions, they can force feed you as full actions. We both get to roll an additional 2d4 plus 4. Cool. 8 more d4. <laughs> can really... I save? I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe we can. If you roll really good, I think I, think I might, oh, I might shit, just make I've got it. To re Okay, so can I roll? Yes. So that'd just be 44 plus 8? 7. 7. Bringing me up to 17. And then out of healing potion. And Krell's bonus action healing word at level 1 for an extra 4. 4. Bringing me up to 13. Just bring your character sheet up here for reference. I've got two fails and one success. I'll just bring it up. And on your, your return to life is based on a game of rock, papers, and scissors, so be sure to get it right. <laughs> Do I go ahead and roll the another save? Uh, Paige still has to roll his second healing potion. I oh, already did. So oh, did you add that back yet? No, you didn't. Add what? 
You didn't. What, what did I miss? Uh, you missed the seven from uh, Pages. No, I, I, I didn't. I, that brought me to uh, 17. Because I was at uh, 23. And then there's the. The, the eight and sorry. the four. Hold on. The eight, bro. The first healing potion puts you at 24. Oh, I didn't see your set. I didn't see yeah. your healing potion. My bad. Yeah. So I would be at um, negative minus five. Th negative five. Okay. And Krell is gonna <laughs> expend one more bardic inspiration for you, which you can add a D eight to this death saving throw. Come on, buddy. Okay. 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 So I need a five or higher to succeed. Yes. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Nope. No. Uh, That's it. That's done. That's Dead. spoon down. But uh, oh, we got we got that scroll, baby. We got scroll of revivify, which we're definitely burning right here. We just burned all our heals, so we're definitely getting that revivify out. I believe we have ten minutes with which to cast it after you meet your end. The materials is already spent because it's a scroll. Oh, we have one minute, so we. Yeah, it would have been more freaking efficient just to let you die and use Vivify. Right. I don't want to be. I don't want to be that guy, but that zombie over there is still alive. So would we be out of combat? That zombie is very dead. It's at negative four. Oh, okay. It's just still yellow. So I thought oh, it was still alive. That one. <laughs> he is, but we're way out of its shambling distance, so I consider oh, this out of combat. Okay, gotcha. It would have to dash four turns in a row to get here. All right, got it. But uh, we bust out the crow, busts out the scroll of revivify, placing it on you, and then activating the magics within, and returns you to life with one hit point. <coughs> Back from that, this time not a zombie. <laughs> oh. I saw, I saw some crazy shit there. Uh, I have a lot of math to do in the next few seconds. I saw my dad and like his rib cage busted open and he had he invited me to go dance with him and I saw my son and his neck turned around a bunch of times. Oh What's happened after you died? I don't know. Uh, we made it though! <laughs> oh certainly made it. By the way, do you think bugbears are available for zombies? They are I'm humanoids. Gonna, I'm gonna go pick up Hugh and Talon. Okay, I'm going to cast a good old anime dad. <laughs> we can have a security right now. Alright. And it's a corpse, so it just comes back as a zombie. Prefer skeletons, but nothing wrong with a good old zombie. A very charred and messed up zombie. Well then. Completely burned and furless. This room is on fire. And... Well, the furniture is on fire. Yeah, the furniture is on fire. I don't know when that's gonna die, but if we want to sit down for a little bit, I don't think this is the place to do it. Uh, we could go back to the place where we found the fucking raid. Uh, we could. If you want to be the guy who runs through, uh... <laughs> well, actually, no, it's actually pretty close, considering. I think it's pretty close. We could go back over there and just sit down for eight more hours. I love how intense the music got just as we started resurrecting you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, We're about to get a lot of it. Oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> I gotta remove yeah. that scroll of revivify from Krell's inventory. Uh, I was thinking, could I, uh, could we make a short rest? Then I could uh, revivify another zombie. And then we go back to grab the long rest. Uh, you can <laughs> certainly do that. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I feel like that might not be the best idea. 
I have a I have a weird feeling about that flame skull. Well, you as a player do, but yeah, you as a player. <laughs> I feel like Spoon I feel like as a character has no idea what it is capable of. That is true. I I literally can look at the flame school fireball fireball. Maybe it's resistant. <laughs> oh, I have the fireball. I don't have You don't have fireball now. Yeah, and we if each, I make we, my plan, we but eat. they could cast. Uh, I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> well. All right, so we each gain 850 XP. Whoa, nice. Nice. Me up to 9,120. Uh, what was the last number? Was it 850 or 850? 850. 850. Bring me up to 9,124. I'm just under 9,000. 7,879. I'm 89.93. As we make our way back to the previous chamber for intensely needed rest, and Spoon just no clips through a wall, apparently. <laughs> and as we That's... make our way back, the water has now receded. Oh, wonderful. I chaos started with the, I put, what did I tell you about stairs? <laughs> I told you, you can't trust stairs. Oh wait, this is the room with the wraith. That was even further back. Yeah. <sighs> Sleepy time. Oh, we have our security here. And... And we very much need to take this long rest, and we will find oh. out the results of that next time.